Live, 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 and welcome to another weekly episode of Style by God, Style for a Purpose. Today, I'm here with my dear sister friend from St. Croix, Virgin Islands, Joanna D. Samuel. She is the founder and owner of Add a Touch Boutique, and boy, she definitely has a story to share. She definitely has a purpose journey that... um that definitely needs to be told. So oh. um, we're gonna go right into it and um, let her go ahead and share. Hey, Sharia. Hey, everyone. Thank <laughs> you Chicago. for joining. Thank you for joining. So we're gonna get right into it. And so, Joanna. You look so beautiful today. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. I try to do my best. <laughs> yeah. I it was, was, I was in your bathroom doing I don't know what. Okay, good. thank you. <laughs> Hi, Sharita. Thank you for the hearts. Don't so, forget, you guys, share it out. Yes, please share. Please share. share it out and out. invite some girlfriends to yes. come in to be inspired. Yes. And to know about everything that even Rara is doing. Yes. As she is, you know, stepping out and, and I'm officially her second guest. So I'm so excited to be here yes, in the ATL and being here with here. you and seeing you and connecting with you again. Yes. So um, as I mentioned last week also is that I was going to be sharing how Style by God came about. So, and it's very um, important that I share it today with um, Joanna here, mm -hmm. because as you will soon find out, that's how it all began. So, um, so first I'll let you go ahead and share. If you start wherever you'd like to start. What do you want to ask me? Okay. Um, this is pretty much um, my first official time back on any live video since our category five storm in the Virgin Islands. Mm -hmm. I am from St. Croix, the Caribbean, United States, Virgin Islands. Yes. And we recently went through two devastating storms, um, mm -hmm. Hurricane Maria, and also before that we had Hurricane Irma. Mm -hmm. Irma kind of more devastated the island, my sister island, which is St. Thomas, mm -hmm. and then of course, Maria, St. Croix. Yeah. And that storm was um, mid-September. You know, so it has been, you know, quite a journey. Um, it put many of us, you know, at a setback, okay. you know, in life, yeah. things happen. And as I told you, um, we're in life, we're going to be dealt. All of us are going to be dealt a card, you know, um, sickness, you know, some sort of devastation, right. some kind of setback. And it took a while for me to come back. It was very emotional. Mm -hmm. um, and through our conversation, of course, um, you would hear about my father and my children relocated here to Atlanta, Georgia. So, right. you know, all of that, my store being, you know, had some issues, yes. you know, got mm -hmm. flooded and so forth. So okay. um, it, it's good to be back. And I thank you so much for, you know, inviting me to sit down with you. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't have to face the screen alone. You know, I have right. someone here right. with me. Right. Yes. You know, I'm here for you. So what was that like having to relocate your children after that? Mm. Hard. I mm -hmm. had pretty much less than 24 hours. You know, my husband's mm -hmm. um, company offered to um, fly us some family members if they wanted to go. And um, we pretty much made that decision. The kids, you know, my husband's sister is here in ATL, you know, wonderful family. And um, okay. she's here with her kids. And my kids actually just came back from the summertime being with her. Oh, you know, okay. so it was um, pretty much making that decision for them to turn right back around and, and, and go up, you know? Okay. So, um, you know, we shared that night. My kids um, slept through the night. I mean, they were joking around. I have that memory of them, you know, talking with each other. Um, everyone was in my daughter's room, the, the three kids, Trey, mm -hmm. Jaden, and Soraya. And they, um, you know, just huddled together and just shared jokes and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, not knowing or realizing um, our lives were going to be changed. Mm -hmm. I went through Hurricane Hugo as a child. I was about 14 years old when we had Hurricane um, Hugo yeah. mm -hmm. um, over 20 years ago. And that was a Category 4, but very devastating, very devastating to the island. Mm -hmm. So I went through that, and here it is. You know, I have my son, Jaden, who is the same age, and, you know, going through that. And mm -hmm. that night was very... Um, one thing I remember from that night, and if I could share that with you... Mm -hmm. Um, I prayed, mm -hmm. I, I, I prayed to God to not allow, I mean, of course I prayed for the island, I prayed for friends, you know, family, but I had this personal prayer 
to, you know, God, you know, please spare our home, mm -hmm. you know, and to especially spare my father's home. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom passed away five years ago mm -hmm. and um, my baby sister 10 years ago. So I'm pretty much all he has. Okay. So he lives about maybe wow. about um, less than 10 minutes away from me. Um, so, you know, I asked God, spare that home, um, spare my business, because I knew that I would not be able to, um, I, I was not in, in, in the situation at that moment to handle any, any mm -hmm. major devastation. So mm -hmm. um, during the night, at some point when that wind started to, to, to pick up and, and, you know, the rain and the, bag, the banging of galvanizers and stuff like that was going on. Mm -hmm. At some point, I just heard a whisper that it's okay. Mm -hmm. And I need you to practice that surrendering mm -hmm. that you talk so much about and surrender because it may not go your way. Wow. So I knew at, at some point during the night, I, 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 just, I, I just let go. Mm -hmm. I just let go and know. And um, so long and short of it, it did not go the way how, how I prayed to. Okay. Okay. But um, things happened for a reason. God did absolutely the opposite of, of what I asked. Mm -hmm. But I know with all my heart that it was meant for a reason. It was meant for a bigger purpose. Mm -hmm. um, as we will discuss later on, because of what happened, that's why I'm sitting here with you. Yeah. That's why I'm here in ATL. Mm -hmm. That's why I am making the moves that I'm making. Mm -hmm. And we need to understand that um, the majority of the time, things don't happen to us. It happens for us. Mm -hmm. And I truly mm -hmm. believe mm -hmm. that is what occurred. Okay, okay. So prior to all of this, what was life like for Joanna? What was that journey of purpose like for you? What, what did you see for your purpose before all of this devastation occurred? What did you, how did you picture it? And what, what, what actually did it look like before all of this? Before all of this, I mean, just, just having the boutique, I am pretty much nine years into having my establishment. And, you know, like many of us, I have dreams, the things that, that I want to do, mm -hmm. um, the right. things that I see myself doing, um, things I never thought I would be doing. Mm -hmm. But let me just tell you, you know, it, for, for me, I can say this. I was simply minding my own business, mm -hmm. you know, when God tapped me years ago and said, you set out to do this, mm -hmm. but I have this for you to do. Mm. You know, having my business for, you know, the last nine years, one of the things that um, clients, customers would always um, tell me, particular um, one of my mentors, Dr. Marlon Williams, he said, you have a ministry because, you know, Ra, wow. you have been to the island, you have seen the store yes. and I, I have, you know, beautiful girly stuff all mm -hmm. around. Um, my plaques around me, pray, faith, believe and live. And mm -hmm. it's always been more than just the jewelry. Never did I set out for it to be that way. But, you know, I have developed quite a bit of intimate relationships with clients, mm -hmm. um, not only on island, but also those that, that, that come away and they shop. You know, we have those intimate conversations and so mm -hmm. forth. So um, it's more than just the jewelry. And I know that my purpose is beyond the boutique mm -hmm. and even mm -hmm. more so now, you know, um, and I was walking towards that. But mm -hmm. certain things would happen that would just give me, you know, push, even, mm -hmm. even with my boohoo in and, and my tears or whatnot, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. So, um, so what were those moments like where you say it was beyond the jewelry? What were those moments like in the boutique where it became beyond the jewelry? What were those moments like? Oh, my gosh. C clients, you know, it was more than just, you know, how am I help you? This is what I'm looking for. Yeah. You know, the exchange of, of, of service. Mm -hmm. um, it just became comfortable conversations a lot of women you know know of my know of my journey or they ask you know how did you establish this boutique you know i, I quit my job about wow. 10 years ago after working for, for two years you know i um i i, I resigned you know i planned my business at my desk i, I did the work now mm -hmm. I, I did my work but i pretty much planned my business mm -hmm. um at my desk so nice. i just truly believe if something is not for you we don't have to stay in that situation. Right. And I think even more now than ever, 
um, as we as, 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 as women are sharing with one another and there's so many platforms out there you know we no longer mm -hmm. have to you know stay in right. any in certain situations right. we can plan a route out and, and mm -hmm. that's what i did so um i was a shy individual mm -hmm. am i shy and you hear what i just said <laughs> i know i I'm just like, said i just like, said that i was a, uh, yes i just said that i, I was like, a shy individual yeah and um, I still have that streak going on, but it's far more better than how it was. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, I'm just so grateful for that. And that just took growth in itself. I had to crawl to be here on this TV, on this live, just sitting here and, and just speaking. Mm -hmm. This just didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I had to um, see, acknowledge what God was showing me. I had to believe it. Mm -hmm. I had to, you know fix my posture mm -hmm. and wow. um and just accept that there is something great and grand out there for me mm -hmm. other than just being in the boutique you know mm -hmm. um during the storm of course you know i'm writing and that writing is going to uh, manifest into a book mm -hmm. you know um scared of speaking oh god <laughs> <laughs> now joanna that <sighs> That is just yeah. No, 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 nobody wants to hear that anymore from okay, me. Okay, everyone, so because Joanna, <laughs> how, now how many years has surrendered? I, I surrendered four times. Okay. Um, twice it was at a friend's home, Dr. Marlon Williams. I mean, the first time I spoke like about six, eight minutes, or five minutes. The second time was maybe about um fifteen minutes. And of course, that year when when you guys came, mm -hmm. you know, I heard I stood up there for like um like forty minutes. <laughs> and of course, this time around, did the same thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm getting better. But you mm -hmm. know what? Let me just say this. It comes a time when you have to decide. You're not trying to go around this mountain over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. Aging is real. <laughs> it's real. And I'm right. not trying to be, you know, I, I want to be able to, to, to look back and, and just to know that, wow, I, I did that. You, you did know, it. yeah. Yeah. I smile at my little grays that are coming through. Mm -hmm. I, and I look at them and I smile because I immediately remember or think about it's okay. Because mm -hmm. I'm doing things that I want to do. It's yeah. taking me some time. But I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. And that is, 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 is so powerful. Mm -hmm. It's everything that rocks. That's like, you right. know, so. And it, it can feel like that when you're on your, when you're um, pursuing your purpose and when you're on that journey to your purpose, it can feel like it's taking so much time. Mm -hmm. I guess because, um, I guess because we see the big picture, mm -hmm. you know, when you see your purpose, you see it for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, and you see the big picture. You see the big picture for it. And it can appear like it's taking time. But every day, the little that we do every day is adding up. Very emotional. It's an emotional process. Mm -hmm. um, it took some time to come back, you know. Mm -hmm. um, because of, of what happened with the storm, my website, you know, you know, shipping, a lot of things changed in the island. Mm -hmm. So my website that I was, you know, Working on doing well at, you know, people was getting to, to know it, you know, shipping became a problem. That was pretty much on lockdown. And by the way, I have a nice mm. um, deal for everyone today. So you got to yeah. stay or come back and make sure you watch She's the ending. So we we're putting some stuff on the website. So this is like right now, you know, me okay. reintroducing the, the website. I'm going to get back on, on my live video. But my mornings was pretty much, I'll tell you how my mornings went, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, kids is not here, you know, I have to, you know, go check on my father. Uh, it was a lot, you know, mm. the memory are my husband, you know, coming on the side of the bed and giving me um, a, a kiss goodbye huh, and have a, have a good day mm. or whatnot. And I would, mm. and I just put the cover over my head, you know, mm. you know, just, just didn't have a generator at the time, so, you know. But anyway, just put the covers over my head and just stay in the bed, knowing that I have to go out, knowing I have to go get some stuff done. Mm -hmm. And um, pretty much, like, kind of will myself out of bed, you know, because I had a lot on my shoulders. I, I had a lot to do. I had a lot to fix, a lot of paperwork and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And um, 
someone asked me, what, where's your pixie cut? Mm-hmm. Everyone is like, where's the pixie cut? You, you got weave now. Yeah. Right. Um, I let the pixie go. You know, um, I started yeah. going dreadlocks. Really? Mm -hmm. It felt like it. It looked like it. My mm -hmm. hair started to get nada because I was just getting the shower and just let the water run and mm -hmm. just get some gel from my son's room and just put it in and, and mm -hmm. you know, certain things started to happen and I would just pick up a scissors mm -hmm. and just clip, to just, just clip it out wow. and so forth and, you know, get dressed the best way that I could and um, hit the streets and, you know, just greet in. You know, we walk around, we greet each other, how was everything? And people would always say, oh my gosh, you look so nice, you know, after the storm and everything. And all this time I would always have my shades on. And they, if they only knew behind the glasses yeah. what was going on and mm -hmm. so forth. So um, had a lot of intimate moment with God. Mm -hmm. A lot, okay. a lot of intimate moment. And, and those intimate moments, of course, led to me understanding more of my purpose, what I have to do next, where I have to go, you know, such as coming to ATL, okay. you know. Um, so. so for a moment there, I guess you were experiencing like, uh, you felt like everything that you had worked for up to that point was just snatched away from you. Pretty much. And, and, and some of it... Mm, most of it is not charging my worth mm. in business. Mm -hmm. It cost me. Okay. It cost me. There's so much I can say on this live, but hey, mm. let wow. me save it for the, the, the not this <laughs> book, but the second book. You know, entrepreneurship okay. is, is, is very rough. Mm -hmm. It's rugged. Oh, yeah. In these yeah. streets of entrepreneurship. Yeah. You know what I mean? These yeah. side alleys. There are, many, there are many side alleys and um, you, you got to be able to, to survive in them. Um, mm -hmm. Not only you have to deal with um, the finances, but of course you have, um, you know, your industry, your, your competitors, you know, and I'm not into that you know, competitor stuff. When you know yeah. who you are and you enjoy your gift, you know what I mean? Listen, every, everybody has their own lane and that's why I don't, I'm not about the competing and all that. I'm not about the competition and mm -hmm. all that. It's just about staying focused in what you're called to do staying mm -hmm. focused on your call staying in your lane because yeah. there's room for everybody at the yes. end of the day and that's what the style by god style for a purpose is all about is because everybody has a purpose yes everybody has a purpose and if we just stay with our purpose and not be concerned about another person's purpose and thinking that we got to be threatened or whatever by what they're doing mm -hmm. it's, that's not what that's not the case that's not what it's about we're already enough for what we're purpose to do so that's where we need to stay okay we're already enough i love that and you talked about style by god and, and how it came about yeah i think we can take a break and i, I, I just okay. want to i see the style by god right there and you're talking about it i love this shirt so i want to know um a little bit of it okay um don't mind me i'm going to be looking down to share out okay right now, but yes. i'm listening as yes, you please. tell you know okay thank you so this so this is how style by god came about uh what year was that? Was that? Oh my God! Okay, last year was two thousand six, seven, seven. So it was time. fifteen. Two thousand fifteen. Two thousand fifteen. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two thousand fifteen. Um, I was uh, blessed with the opportunity to come and travel with our dear friend Tierra Destiny Reed. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Tierra. Hey T T. Love you T. <laughs> and um, so I was blessed with the opportunity to travel with Tierra. She was the headline speaker for Joanna's Surrender It which event, which is a women's empowerment. Conference. And it just so happened that the theme that year was finding ultimate peace through obedience. Mm, that was the right, theme, finding right. ultimate peace through obedience. Yes. Yes. So anyway, so Joanna, when she, once she found out that I was coming along with Tierra, she asked if I would speak as well and share with the women, my journey and style. So I, I was, Definitely flattered, so I said, absolutely, I'll do that. So I knew pretty much what I was going to share. I was going to pretty much be sharing my story about my style journey. Um, but the night before uh, the event, I was in the hotel room, and I was like, okay, God, you know, I felt like there was something more specific I needed to share with the women, and I wasn't quite sure what that was. But I felt that I heard God saying that, once you get to uh, St. Croix, I'll reveal it to you there. And sure enough, that's what happened. So the night before, 
I was sitting in my hotel room and I was going over the scripture that I use for Stop by God, which is Psalm 139, where it talks about how we're fearfully and wonderfully made. So um, I was reading that scripture and meditating on it, and I heard in my spirit, tell the women that they're styled by God. And hmm. when I heard that, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, wow. So, and I remember you did say that. Yeah. Yeah. As you just said, I remember that moment when you said it. Hey, Tawana, how are you? Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Hi, Priscilla. Yeah, I remember you saying yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. So what God was showing me that, um, well, basically, style, the basic definition of style is to put together. So in Psalm 39, which it talks about how we're fearfully and wonderfully made, it's talking about how God put us together. Mm. So it's it's a in, it, it's a journey that begins within. Yes. And then it's expressed without. So we we are an expression of God. You know, we are an expression of him and we already have what we need to be that expression of him. And basically we, we um there are and my purpose is when it comes to style and helping women identify their style, it's just a matter of showing them how to tap into what they already have, mm -hmm. you know, with what they already have, you know, what they've already got. So basically that's where, um, that's how Style by God came about. And now that is being turned into a book, Style by God, Style for a Purpose, because God has now made it um, more of a, uh, what's that word I want to use? It's, um, it can be used across, uh, for any situation, for Pretty anybody's mm -hmm. circumstance. Style for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a purpose. Yes, so I love the, it. Yeah, so that wow. message, you know, goes across the board. So I'm writing a book called Style by God, Style for a Purpose. So God just pretty much used my journey, my love for fashion and style, and gave me a message with it. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that I have learned in my journey and searching for my passion. for Because for the longest time, I questioned what was my purpose? What, what, what is my purpose in life? That's really something. Yeah. We do that a lot. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I like this, one of my favorite things is to share is that there's this power in the decision to just start. Mm. And that's yeah. what it was for me. I had to just start. And my start, I also shared that with the women too at Surrender It, mm -hmm. that my start was this uh, desire I had to go natural with my hair. Yes. I had mm -hmm. worn that was, my That hair. was the message. Yes. I had my hair chemically relaxed, relaxed for years. And um, when I had this nudge, I knew in my gut, I was like, I'm ready. I want to do this. I mm. want to do this. But yet at the same time, I struggled with it. Mm -hmm. I struggled with it for two years before I actually took action. We women, it. we waste a little time mm -hmm. there. But I mean, they mm -hmm. always say things don't happen before it's time. I understand that. Right. But sometimes God waits on us too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he's right there, you know, and I, I've been feeling that way too. Yeah, well, know. it's a matter of us receiving what he's already done. Mm -hmm. He's already done. It's, it's already available, but it's a matter of us receiving it. Mm -hmm. So I finally, when I came around <laughs> and made the decision and, and stepped out and did it, it just led to other things. It led to me uh, transforming my whole image. And from that, it just led to me uh, becoming involved attending events and, and shopping at different places, mm -hmm. shopping at consignment shops and boutiques Your and so forth. Your style is amazing. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> and that's how I eventually I connected with Tierra and uh, through her uh, consignment boutique, uh, we ended up collaborating and I became a feature in her newsletter, going into her boutique and putting together um, items in her inventory, putting together looks and mm -hmm. those looks would sell right away. And so just one thing led to another. So there's power in starting. And just starting. Just mm -hmm. start. You just, with whatever it is, just go ahead and start it. And I thank you and so much for that. And that will grow into, you know, the next thing. And the that's how it, that's how it yeah. all begins. And I, I'm going to piggyback off of that because that's a prime example of where I'm at right now. You know, I'm not a good packer at all. <laughs> oh, it's it's chilly up here. You know, I experienced a little two days yeah. decent weather, but I'm going through, you know, uh, my suitcase and I have a little tank there. I have my slipper, a little jogging suit, you know, 
I knew that I was coming to Rara now, so, <laughs> so I, I made sure I put his earrings and hair on this top. She told me, she told me as we were getting ready. <laughs> yeah, Rara was going through the room, I'm like, yeah, go, she, don't hurt me please, right. don't hurt me please, Rara. <laughs> and she's like, well, she's, I, I won't, I'll try not to. Uh, yeah, I, I, learned, I said, okay, I'll try not to hurt you then. <laughs> <laughs> so just, so. Co just come in here and just, just pack in my suitcase. Of course, again, I'll be seeing my babies this afternoon. Uh -huh. um, I took the first couple of days to work on some business, as mm -hmm. you know. Um, woo. So, yeah, so share about that. Oh my now. God, remember there's on? so many little things things yes, going on you know on. What's but going what's going on what you this, bring into this, the atl come this on, is no, facebook no. live <laughs> you know some of y'all be on here well you know not you but i be seeing some people giving out everything you know what i mean uh, that the yeah. shoot I, um I sometimes god is saying you you know you don't need to put everything out that i'm doing for you right. so that's a lesson that's yeah. the word everybody mm -hmm. um but in this moment i am just being obedient Mm -hmm. And being here, besides seeing my kids, you know, I am creating an out of touch home line. I'm excited about Ooh. that. You know, and all of that came about while I was going through what I was going through. I'm really? telling you, all that time behind closed doors when I was all nappy and things hanging all over the place and I'm doing my best or whatnot, God was just working on me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the there was no friends and in influence and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I had, mm -hmm. it was pretty much limited access um, to me. And when I say that, of course, everyone at home, you know, we're going through, you know, all what we're going through, but um, other individuals who um, are away, you know, yeah. friends and stuff like that, no one really couldn't get through because of the phone line. There were only a few people that was able mm -hmm. to get through. You know, Tijuana from California, she's on here. My AP, that's like my accountability partner. Mm -hmm. We were put together by author Regina Robinson. Okay. So um, she is my accountability partner out there. And I, I love her. Thank you so much for everything and all the advice. And then we have, you know, Tamira from um, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, Tiara was able to, to get through um, a, a, at least twice. Um, the women on the island, you know, those entrepreneurs, you know, again, resilient and, and we're coming back mm -hmm. strong and mm -hmm. we'll see each other on the street and give each other, give each other a hug and, yeah. you know, you yeah. know, let us continue, you know, sustaining ourselves, building our business, no matter what um, is, is going on. Mm -hmm. So just being in that element, it came to me, you know, I have my accessory. I always wanted to have a home line, but. I was one of those that it's not the right time. Mm. Well, after hurricane, after mm -hmm. cat, I'm not even gonna say hurricane Maria, mm -hmm. cat five. I went through a cat category five hurricane. So with that wow. being said, um, I'm not waiting anymore, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I had this um, experience yesterday while I was, um, you know, doing my, you know, have going through my buying experience, which I love. <coughs> um, I actually went into this one particular area and all the embroideries was, you know, uh, about, you know, God's message and Bible verses. And I okay. said, wow, this would be so great, you know, for the boutique, you know, my online things I want to do. So the, the, the home line pretty much is strategically going to um, <coughs> consist of scented candles, scented oils. Um, those little plaques with inspiration, you know, because uh -huh. clients will always come okay. in or ask me online, hey, I see this on your live, do you sell them? Mm -hmm. So I like those little, you know, those little figurines that you can put at your desk, okay. that you can, um, your desk at work, mm -hmm. something you can have home in, in, in your living room, because I do feel that having inspiring words around you it helps when yep. you can look over something so so beautiful exactly. you know and it just says something to just give you a little pep in your step when you're feeling down so mm -hmm. it's gonna consist of that and some you know some little thing, um home line decor mm -hmm. and so forth so i'm so excited about that so okay. add a touch jewels accessories mm -hmm. and also the added touch home line okay. not gonna be too much but very nice just very <coughs> elegant so i'm very excited about that okay good mm -hmm. for you so out of this god has expanded your vision yeah mm -hmm. and also i'm going to be having a little mm -hmm. event here in atl Okay. Yeah, ATL. You okay. know, we were gonna have a, 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 a sip and shops. I'm gonna get into mm -hmm. sip and shops back home, Good. and also um, here in ATL. Um, awesome. Another thing that came about 
um, for me, stepping back for a while, of course, and just having those intimate meditations with God is mm -hmm. um, expanding at a touch outside of my home. Mm. Island, so mm. I have ties oh, to Atlanta, okay. Georgia. So I'm going to tell okay. the story of how I have ties to Atlanta, Georgia, at my sip and shop mm -hmm. because it's an amazing, amazing story. And you know, maybe we can broadcast that that mm -hmm. half of it live or whatnot. Okay. So it, it's going to be in ATM. My brother lives here, and I've met. Um, besides having some amazing friends mm -hmm. and, and such as yourself, um, there are a few women from the islands that live here, clients that I've connected with on social media that lives here. And my, my children are, are, are getting older. So I'm, I'm in that lane, you know, just setting stuff up. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is a part of me saying, you know, not me, God, you know, yeah. I need you to move now. You mm -hmm. were moving. We knew that this was the plan. You accepted what I had for you. But I need you to move now mm -hmm. and to be obedient. So, um, again, I go back to my suitcase. When I look at my suitcase, it's like, okay, God. You know, and I'm just put, putting stuff in there, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. this is the season of just stepping, stepping. more and mm -hmm. axing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm mm -hmm. looking to, to find, a, a, you know. A, a it's time to go to the next level. Yeah. yeah. Like you were saying, you, you're growing beyond mm. being behind the register it's yeah i'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah. so before yeah so you He's know my thing is before it gets to a full-blown divorce mm -hmm. i'm going through a separation mm -hmm. i'm going through a separation mm -hmm. um and, and it wow. was painful i've i've all you know wow yeah uh -huh. that yeah 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 but yeah. see it's all for we go through a season of storms but out of that storm, God always has something greater waiting yeah. for us mm -hmm. on the other side of it. And I was grieving. I was crying a lot. I, you know, mm -hmm. I was grieving, but I was grieving because of, of things I didn't have in place, situations I ended up it's, in, and also, also knowing that you're not staying here. You got to move, mm -hmm. you know. You got to detach from behind the counter. It's, 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 it's a wrap. Right. It's right. over. That's what I was about to say. Let go. You were stuck there yeah. with being behind the counter. Yeah. You were you were you were comfortable. Yeah. And God had to sh uh, yeah. take you out of your comfort. I was zone. moving. I was shifting. You but knew, you knew that eventually you were going to have to come behind, but you just, yeah, at some point. Yeah. And my friend Sabria Kala, she would say, "You're not going to be behind the counter, my right. girl." I, I need and to. And I, I, I told you that too. I, I, and you yeah. did, yeah. So it's time to. Um, so one of the gifts I'm gonna you know give to myself at some point is a full time. Mm -hmm. employee I'm still going to be there mm -hmm. you know um but right now I need it has to run without me mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and that's another decision Rara mm -hmm. it can't mm -hmm. run without me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. you know but I has, you know yeah. I, I I have too much so I have too many powerhouses yeah you know that is very no nonsense mm-hmm that right. you know it's not gonna allow me to get from one point to a next point and okay you see that's not working you know you know so mm -hmm. um i have to think about my, my children and think about you know the, the life that i want and and, and to you know yeah. you know I, I i have a say in how that um how that develops i mean god mm -hmm. is the ultimate mm -hmm. you know but i do believe you know god helps those who help themselves mm -hmm. so this is a season of axing Okay. You know, I've, I've already um, been here. I did not yeah, put a, put it out there mm -hmm. that I'm going to be doing something. She did a post. I'm like, <gasps> you know, she, yeah. she, she, she's just yeah. so free spirited. She is. She is. She <laughs> you is. know, and um, so I'm like, you know, I looked at it and I said, you know, oh, okay. Hope I don't get any inbox. You know, <laughs> are you doing this? Are you doing that? Are you, you know, I I don't. Mm -hmm. Uh, just, let let me go ahead and, and just put this weave back a little bit and just say that I, I have endured oh Barbara yeah. did this conversation mm -hmm. is not even enough mm -hmm. you know what I mean I and, and there's so ma many you know entrepreneurs and, and, and women whether you're, you're 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 seeking to you know change some things in your life or to you know build a business or you have been in a situation for a certain time you know, within your bit now, I'm speaking about entrepreneurship now. I'm talking about nobody marriage mm -hmm. in, in um, <laughs> your children. Or what. I'm talking about entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, okay. 
just be open, be mm -hmm. willing. You know, you also shared um, ju just stepping and just yeah. moving. And, yeah. and that's what I'm at. It could be scary, but I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. And um, I could honestly say I'm tired because, you know, I step in, in my own timing. And God is like, that's over with. Are you mm -hmm. going to give it all to me? Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. assumes you've mm -hmm. been giving it all to me. You've been, you know, mm -hmm. but I have so much more. That's and, so much more. you know, when I look at an individual on social media, you know, my mom, you know, mm -hmm. rest in peace. She de is deceased um, past five years ago. Mommy always said, never grudge or envy anybody for what they have because you don't know how they got it. Right. You know, but... um. You know, you, you, you've seen individuals just coming up and they just got in the game and they, they're doing it and everything is, is all. It was not like that for me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I, all I can say or I have figured out is that he so loved me yeah. that he knew that I was going to be able to handle it and endure it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you know, he knows going to come screaming and kicking. Yeah. But, you know, he still entrusted me. I had mm -hmm. to work on so many different things in my life, you know, mm -hmm. being a better mother, being a better wife, working on marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I recently had to, you know, you know, separate myself from a friend or, or two, mm -hmm. you know, um, and yeah. We still have, you know, we still have that bond, mm -hmm. but the the relationships were not good. Mm -hmm. And I clearly, you know, felt God saying, you're going to choose or you're going to choose me. Mm -hmm. You cannot take that, 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 that friend with you, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And the minute things started to dissolve, you know, stuff started being released, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know. So, and yeah, and that's... Um that's a part of the process the, um, of being on your journey yeah. to purpose. Part of that process is making those tough decisions that we have to, especially when it comes to relationships, mm -hmm. that those, <laughs> making those decisions, is, yeah. they're hard, but it, in order for us to, you know what I look at, uh, I look at it as finally, breathing finally releasing letting go and taking that yeah breath. And, and and it feels good you know that breath it feels yeah, good it feels good mm -hmm. yeah it feels good you finally it was uh, painful breath. yeah yeah painful but um, hurtful so now what your purpose do you have more clear a more clear vision of what joanna samuel's purpose is why is she here to share, inspire, aren't are we? And, and, mm -hmm. and to share and to bring up the next person and not mm -hmm. be selfish, mm -hmm. you know? Right. It's a movement. It is. It's a brand in itself. It you know what I mean? Yeah. How awesome it is to, to look back. I mean, styled by God. Oh, my God. Right. I'm a part of this. Exactly. You know what I mean? And remember you what know? I showed with you earlier, what I was sharing with Joanna earlier, is that God told me, um, that purpose connects the dots. Purpose connects the dots. Wow. Yeah. And as everybody is on their journey of purpose, our paths are crossing and mm -hmm. connecting. And because of me being on my journey of purpose, having that connection with Tierra led to my connection with you and you extending that invitation for me to speak. Mm -hmm. And because of me accepting that invitation and stepping out on mm -hmm. it, not knowing where it was leading to, but just because I knew I had a purpose, yeah. I was like, yes, let me have this opportunity wow. to finally live my purpose out loud and speak. Mm -hmm. You giving me that opportunity birthed style by God. Yeah. So the purpose connects the dots. Yeah. So and then me being were here. on your purpose yeah. with your Surrender It mm -hmm. Conference connected me in and style by God was birth. So purpose connects to that. So mm -hmm. we can't take for granted those uh, divine connections yeah. that we come across during our journey to purpose. Those divine connections lead us to um, an even bigger yes. uh, mm -hmm. purpose. So, yeah. And just being here and being this, the second person that you're interviewing and, and right. you know, and we're speaking about collaborating on an event, 
you know, so mm -hmm. th that's going to be really right. good. And I right. think, I think based off of this, I think we're doing real good. Yes. <laughs> you know, I see these lights. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Rara was putting right. out the lights and everything. I'm like right. over I there on the computer trying to put stuff on the website because she put up one light. <laughs> oh, she got two lights. <laughs> oh, she got the chair. <laughs> right. We ain't got no script. So, but okay, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about the the nonprofit that was birthed. See, there's another see, bird that uh, took place, see. and the name is so amazing. You know, it was given to me by by God. It's so beautiful mm -hmm. that I ain't even gonna talk about it like I did surrendering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, attorneys are ready on the side okay. that that's gonna work and getting the paperwork trademarked and so forth and all that good stuff. Okay. So um, so the yeah. nonprofit. So now you got a nonprofit. As a result, I want to bring oh, it's going to be similar to the surrender. So your passion yeah. is turning into purpose, and the purpose is a, now the yeah. not, the boutique, now the nonprofit. And you've also book shared with me and, yeah. a book. Anyone calls me to speak, I'm just gonna okay, yeah. what time <laughs> you know? And so would you like doing... to share a little about the book or what? Well, what you know, you it, it just basically about the journey and, mm -hmm. and just you know. Living in your in your potential, we all, as you said, have a story. Yeah. Something. Look, I'm a big believer that something that we may have heard five years ago, three years ago, one year ago, a couple months ago, we may not have gotten it. Mm -hmm. But it comes mm -hmm. that one moment mm -hmm. that you will get it. Mm -hmm. You know. So it just takes that yeah. one person, that one yeah. book, that one situation, uh, just mm -hmm. to get it. You know right. what I mean? Exactly. And if it's not accepted by you know by the masses, look, I am so big in living in assignment now. Mm -hmm. He speaks to me yeah. a lot. He's like so he's the most conceited person I ever knew. <laughs> Wakes me up at night, you know. I'm I'm one of those um ladies that that go twinkle. I was gonna say pee pee, but twinkle. <laughs> twinkle. I like that. Twinkle. I twinkle. twinkle. Okay. Yeah, I go twinkle every night. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't even want to get up. I just try and hold it <laughs> because I get up to go do my twinkle, and when I try to, you know, I be running to the bathroom to come back. I run because I know that. He's going to want to have a conversation with me in my head. Wow. And you run. I want to sleep. <laughs> you know, I, I, I know you're going yeah. to write. I know. Yep. You know, this is what I, I need you to do. You know, this mm -hmm. is what, you know, I know it doesn't look like it, it, it's happening, but I, I, I need you to mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm. I, I need you to do that. I need you to go write this chapter. Mm -hmm. You know, I need you to just ask. Mm -hmm. You know, I am God. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. we have that conversation. Like my mm -hmm. husband's already sleeping, and um, yeah, it takes me an hour, two hours, some three hours to go back and sleep. Wow. And I'm See? not, and I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I have so worked on, and I have created. A, a relationship with him mm -hmm. you know That's sometimes if I know about. if I know that you know I shouldn't be saying that or doing that I get convicted right away mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. and um yeah the relationship is key yeah I mean that's that's the bottom line when it when it comes to purpose uh, a purpose really isn't a purpose until you definitely have that relationship mm -hmm. with God yeah you know because and we're he's not the always, one, he's the one that gave you the purpose. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. And we're not always yeah. perfect or whatnot, but it's nice to know right. even it's if you nice. make a mistake or you don't do what you're supposed to do or you fail at something or you disappointed him. I'm so comfortable I come back and say, you know, daddy or, yeah. or God or whatnot, you know. Yeah. I yeah, don't hide, not, you know. Yeah. Well you perfect. know I just said that word, Dad, you know, but you know, yeah. So yeah, well, yeah. it's not about perfection, and, you know. Yeah. And then we, we, we eventually learn that it's not about perfection because God yeah. uses us regardless. Yeah, you know, but sometimes, you know, know, yeah. But before in the past, I, 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 I used to get like yeah. that, yeah, and feel really, yeah. really yeah. bad and we so forth, it. yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, so, so I'm just excited. I love my fashion jewelry. Oh, my gosh. I'm, okay. I, I'm all about the jewelry. I think jewelry is something that, that makes women just look beautiful. And, I mean, could you imagine if we just go ahead and just take take these things off. I mean, oh. we'll still be cute and nice, but <laughs> jewelry just so fun. They're like, they're, they're like, a, they're like our girlfriends. Oh you know what yeah, I mean? I Everybody's selling jewelry and nothing is wrong with it. Right. Accessories is never going to go out of style. Right. Never. It's been here. It's going to be here. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, um, and there's so many different levels of accessory. Mm -hmm. And, 
exactly. um, I'm a boss shopper. I mm -hmm. really shop for some exquisite you pieces, do. and you um, do. I love giving them names and stuff like that because they're like the, you know the, the girlfriend that just you know, mm -hmm. um, so forth. So I'm looking to I'm looking forward to creating some sip and shops home with the ladies in the island, mm -hmm. and also, you know, having little um, e events here as okay. this is gonna become my second to third home. Mm -hmm. I'm from St. Croix. I used to live in Boston, so I love Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Always wanted to have a home there, I but I'm aging. It's, it's getting cold, so <laughs> so Boston is the next big thing. I have the most amazing, amazing big wow. brother. I've never been to Boston. I love Boston. Okay. Um, the the pub, the transport system is just so awesome. You step out of the house and hmm. it's right there. Okay. You know, but okay. here ATM again. My brother is here. My sister in law is here, and and you know, and mm -hmm. um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just need well, to good. learn God is so expanding so, your yeah, territory. So looking to have, you yeah. do some stuff here and mm -hmm. so forth, and collaborating mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. See, mm -hmm. so you made it through the storm. Yeah, and God has brought you out into something greater. Something greater. Yeah, and um, even if there's a next storm, you know. Yeah. You know, I, I know better also to, to, to just move in obedience and so forth. And um, home in the islands, you know, we are, we, we are coming back. You know, power is being restored. And um, we're, we're there to, you know, we're encouraging one another. We're helping one another. Um, and, Ra, it just so happened that, it, I think it was like two days ago, we, had, we was under um, a tsunami advisory mm. yeah mm. yeah mm. for for that and there, there was a um what was it an earthquake oh yeah okay. i think in honduras yeah so it had an earthquake so we are pretty much along that trenches uh -huh. so of course you know i wasn't there of course so you know I, i'm right. here right but a lot of praying went on and and okay. god had mercy mm -hmm. on us um so we're just right now trying to make sure that we have the proper exit plan and and you know mm -hmm. You know, uh, depending on our government to make sure that everything yes. um, goes accordingly in the event if something ever ever okay. happens. So um, there's a lot to be grateful for, mm -hmm. a lot to be grateful yeah. for in, yes. in, in spite of. So right. I'm excited about just, you know, just, just continuing and just living in my everyday purpose and accepting the gift that God has, has, has given me. Mm -hmm. And we all have a gift, whether it's jewelry, whether it's bacon, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. well, you're you're definitely a a good example of continuing to push through. Thank you. You know, in spite of the storm, continuing mm -hmm. to push through. Mm -hmm. And I, that's another lesson that I've, I've learned is that no matter what what life deals to you, mm -hmm. you continue to push through. Yes. And you push through to something bigger and something greater. Mm -hmm. And um, cause and you look back about, for others because you know about my experience in 2017. Yes. It was, yeah. was a lot as well. Two of your parents. Yeah, yeah. both of my parents. So. Yeah. And I know they're proud. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're proud. My mommy's I've, proud I, too. I, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I feel them with me. Um, I don't know what it is about it, um, having that experience of losing. I've lost, lost both of my parents in 2017 mm -hmm. within 14 days, two wow. weeks. Yeah. So. Um, mm. but just, <laughs> wow, just, um, I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like their, that d divine, that connection, that soul tie. Yeah. It just, it just, it has just propelled me even beyond. Yeah. And it's just like. I've taken off. And, I, I've seen and you taking off. Yeah, I'm like, I, let me get close to Rara. Yeah, and I know it's Something's happening. And my, my friend, <laughs> um, my dear friend, she shared something really, um, she shared something with me. She said, she said, your parents have now made room for you. She said, get, she said, be ready. She said, get ready. Yeah. And she said, she, and the, the way she described it, she's like, she said, you have your parents at the throne. <laughs> They're mm -hmm. up there at the throne, yeah. at the very yeah. throne of God. Mm -hmm. Interceding for you, putting yeah. up those prayers for you. They mm -hmm. are right there. So yeah. I'm like, wow, that's what this is all about. Yeah. So it's just wow. So anyway. Wow, well, be, be, before, before we continue, remember what you were yeah. going to say, whatever it was. I stopped but, you a little while ago. So whatever you're going to say, just remember. Okay. I, I know it. we're aging, but <laughs> yeah. No, girl, when you, okay, I don't know if you know, but whenever we are on social media, we're supposed to acknowledge the people. Yes. So that's why I'm coming closer. Uh-huh. I need glasses, Rhonda. 
But you anyway, Vanessa. Uh-huh. You want me to read it too? No, no, no. no Vanessa said hi, Rhonda. Vanessa said hi, Rhonda. Vanessa said hi, Rhonda. Oh, hey, Van- Vanessa. You hey, need Vanessa. to tell the people hello. Priscilla said, hi, let's Tanya. go to um, Priscilla said, let's go to Boston. Um, Natanya is here. Yeah, Natanya, she was talking so much good thing about you. Uh-huh. Can't wait to meet you. Um, we need a branding team. Yeah, e- yeah. That's yeah, like that, that. That's like kind of big for us. Ron and I, you know, we, we have some soft some ideas, and right. we got the fashion down pack. We got the shopping down pack. Right, we have the exactly. ideas down pack. But we, we can't do all of this by ourselves. I look, it's I, a lot. I looked over at Ron and she was putting up the lights and, and all these things here. And I said, you know, I started to tear up over there in the corner, right? Mm-hmm. I started to tear up because that's how I was holding on to the boutique. Wow. So I said, Rhonda, do you see yourself doing this setup here in the next year and two years? No. And this was not your thing. And look how you just did this. Right. So therefore... It needs to be handed over to, to someone, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it does. It we does. love we love to connect mm-hmm. with individuals who are just starting out, right? You know, yeah, there's something definitely. about the underdogs. So I, put the I word like, out so. there, everybody, that uh, we want to. We're putting the word out there. We need a team. We need some people. I need some people that can do the camera and the lights and stuff. Graphic so photographer interview ask questions marketing I just focus on all that. that good stuff i mean we kind of yeah. have uh, some of these things down yeah, packed photographer but, you know, i need a photographer that's one of the things that kind of kind of held me back website. a little bit i was doing a lot on my own i had Sade who now lives in new york city um so while we're here she's getting some stuff on the website yeah. and, and Sade, uh, you know has, has has been awesome but we have been kind of you know doing this you know i've been doing most of it and she has been an awesome um you know, I'm a side chick, as I like to call her. She mm-hmm. rides with me. But it, it needs to be stepped up, you know. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. it, it's going to take an investment. But this is the season of asking, yeah. investing, and knowing exactly what we want. It, it, it's, playtime is pretty much over. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. um, thank you for so, the hearts. Yes, thank you. Okay. That's, I think that was Priscilla. Yeah, that thank was you. Priscilla. I'm not going to even mess with the camera. Okay. I was going to scroll down to see if anyone. But if we missed anyone, any comments, we're going to go back. But thank mm-hmm. you so much for watching. Please yes. go ahead and share it out. And do you guys hear me? I never like talking. I'm like taking over Rhonda's <laughs> stuff. <laughs> she um, likes to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, still, I, I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still perfecting my craft as an interviewer. And I didn't this need is, wine. This is all God, but you know. So I hope we can collaborate, Rhonda. Yes, we definitely. I told you in the car what I would like to do. So, so anyway, so just to tie it all up, Style by God again is a based on also on a book that I'm working on, and these interviews are based on people who I have connected with along my uh, purpose journey. So I'm because as I'm connecting with these people, I'm learning that. We all have a story. Mm-hmm. So I'm giving them the platform to share their story. So that's what this Style by God, Style for a Purpose Facebook Live interview is all about. And I may branch out and reach out to other people that may not be directly in my, on my journey, Mm-mm. but, you know, they still have a purpose. So I will have other guests as well. Speaking of which, um, well, first of all, I'll let you go ahead and share what you have to offer our viewers today. Oh, well, the website, you know, getting the website, you know, back in order. We're going to do a 20% off everything, Woo-hoo. well, off your final purchase on the site. And, of course, you're going to be given a code. A, a code. Oh, my God. <laughs> given a code, okay? C-O-D-E. C-O-D-E. <laughs> a code. Yes, a code. Yes, I don't talk. Um, yes, you're going to be given a code. And you have until tomorrow midnight. We're going to mm-hmm. extend it. Actually, it was going to be until midnight tonight. But mm-hmm. I said, you know, we have so much more to put on. I don't want you to miss out. We actually also um, just created a, so- a sorority corner. Oh. Yes, with all the, the three main sororities. Hope I don't insult anybody. <laughs> yes. Um, thank you so much. Yes, the 20% off. So, you know, they, the sorority loves their color. We got the blue and the, the red and uh-huh. the pink and green and so forth. So we got a few more things to put on. So we're going to extend it until tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to connect with you. Um, you can follow me on the social media platforms, which is the Facebook um at a touch boutique at a touch boutique and also we have instagram under at a touch and also on periscope now since the storm of course because of the um the connection i have not been doing any lives 
Mm -hmm. But I would be able to start doing some more at the boutique where mm -hmm. um, I have some particular time during the day that I just get on there and I bop around to the music. You may get a little calypso or reggae once in a while. Otherwise, I love me some hip hop. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, um, you know, <laughs> my God, for all of that. <laughs> God is like, OK, Joanna. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Thank you so much for putting that up, Priscilla. And um, yeah. What the heck was I saying? I got excited. Um, um, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. The, the platforms. Your Facebook, Instagram, yeah. and also on Periscope, all right? So anyway, the code is, you guys, is style S B G G 20. S B S B G 20. Yeah, style by I, God 20. My tongue get twisted. I'm like <laughs> one of those, okay? I am not even going to front my tongue get twisted. So I'm going to let Raya say 20. So 20 for the 20%, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the code. And Ra, I brought you a gift. You know what? You think I just had the Adatouch bag on when it just started? I have a little, ball, little black bag over there with the pink tissue paper in it. And I'm... <laughs> yeah, so S B G, I got it. S B G. <laughs> SBG 20, style by God 20. Anyway, I bought Rara a gift oh, from the oh, island. Oh. So, um, yeah, so you're going oh, gonna to open this for everybody to okay. see. Yes, yes, yes. yes Ladies, see. did we do good? We, 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 we was not scripted. Yes. You know? Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. Okay, so let me hold your tissue paper. Um, what's first? Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. You know you sassy. This is so cute. Look at this. You know you're sassy. Isn't that cute? It's a little sequin bag. Yes. Uh, pouch. Yeah. Pouch. Yes, yes, I love yes. It. Okay. Yes. So I'll hold that. Yes, you And hold um, that. you can take up. Uh, you can take. I'm you all, take all in out. her bag. I'm just I saying. Know, right? You can take <laughs> that. You can take that out. Oh, some ear. Oh, nice. You can take Pearl it out. Earrings. You have to take it out. They're okay. so pretty. Oversized. Um. Stud. Yes, it's a two these layer. are perfect. Latanya said we did wonderful. Thank you, La. Thank you, Latanya. I'm giving, I'm giving La. That's my creative director. Latanya. I know. I'm giving her a nickname. Creative director. La I may need you. You want to put it closer? What? Well, no. Don't get up, <laughs> because you're short. You know, you already positioned already. They can see. They can see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's okay. some beautiful stud earrings. Yay. Thank you. And then this one. This one here is very meaningful. Go ahead. This is now from, from, from home itself. Oh, I, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. It's from St. Croix. It's a it's little a clock. Um, a little clock. Look at that. Yeah, and like I said, you, 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 you know, we, don't, we don't want you to come down out of that seat. You stay <laughs> right up there with them heels. <laughs> All right, this is a little clock from the islands. Say, and it says St. Croix right there to the bottom. So why this was extremely special and then giving it to you, you know, time. You know, mm. we, are, we are embracing our journey. We are embracing mm. our time. And I'm looking forward to, to expanding. I'm looking forward to collaborating, mm. going with you. And as I, you know, share with you, we're pretty much on the same level. So why not? Yeah. Why not just journey together, you know? Um, exactly. It's going to make it a lot more easier. And, of course, we will get her to, to share. Mm -hmm. Share how, it, you know, how it's done, you know. So, yes. well, just sharing. You. Yeah, oh, This is so special. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Joanna. I thank really you for appreciate having, having you here and today I, I did, to share yeah. your story. Did I make you I know, proud? Huh? I, you did. I am so proud of you, girl. <laughs> you push it through. That, I'm, okay. I'm so happy for okay. you. Okay. It was I just was, here. I was concerned for a minute. I was like. No, Sam. You, yeah, I, you like, she not, I know she's not going to give up. Oh, when I wasn't um, yeah, reaching well, out. Yeah, I mean, when you were going through your season, I was yeah. like, I know Because I recently, I'm so I recently, I recently called Rara, yeah. you know, and that mm -hmm. was just me. I started kind of reaching out to individuals, yeah. you know, and, and anyone, you know, who I have to call one of my coaches, Regina Robinson, you know, mm -hmm. she has been awesome. We have done at Winningham, and these are women who are doing some things, and mm -hmm. they took the time to reach out to me on social media, inbox me, says, how you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, um, not give up, I am here, and so yeah. forth, and that meant so much. Yeah, you know, that's what um, I knew you had my to sister, share you know, story. back home, and, and individuals I've met, on the mainland, mm -hmm. they reached back, and that was really amazing. But especially, especially those coaches. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, right. um, awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've been an hour now, so we're, <coughs> we're gonna get ready to close out here. But thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And next time, my <coughs> next Star by God interview 
will be in the month of February. I have two special couples lined up. So we're going to talk about love and purpose in the month of February. So um, my next guest will be Don and Sierra Bobo. Sierra has a nonprofit organization for young girls between the ages of 8 and 18 called Fly Life. Fly on the, from the inside out. So I'm looking forward to speaking with her as well as her husband, Don. So, um, so stay tuned and I'll keep you posted. So thanks again. One more thing. The website. Oh, yes. Girl, please. I want to sit in here like we gave a call. <laughs> no website. But oh, right. obviously okay. it's www.addatouchboutique.com www.addatouchboutique.com all right and again the code is sbg sbg 20 20 yes <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much okay thank you everyone see you next time bye everybody bye, -bye.